guys, it's Tilly and today I am doing the Olympics book tag. I was tagged by Miss Henry Reads, which is Jen and she is lovely. I will link her channel. I will link a link to her channel below. Um, the original creator of this video, I believe, was RJ at the Secret Stack. So there'll be a link down there too, you know? All the links down there. It's a series of 13 questions and I will be going through them and talking about which book and stuff for the questions. So let's get started. Question one is at the opening ceremony. What book did you think had an incredible opening? And for me that's quite easy. So it is not exactly a a happy opening. Um, in fact, this is a story about Darcy Patel who writes a book about a girl called Lizzie and has alternating chapters of Darcy's life and the other chapter is a book that she is writing. And it is in fact Lizzie who she is writing that has this amazing first chapter where she's inside of an airport when it is basically attacked and people are being gunned down around her. Um, and it's just absolutely crazy. Like It's such a pace for the book but it's just one of those things that you're straight into the action and it's crazy because he writes it so that you fall in love with the characters even at the very beginning. Like you've just been introduced and already you just want to protect them and I just thought it was amazing and I just really wanted to like the book after that. Question two is the games. What is your favourite fictional competition? And there are so many competitions but my favourite would have to be the Scorpio races by Maggie Stiefvater because I would totally participate in the Scorpio races, you know, a race where someone dies every year and you get to ride these wild as hell horses that aren't tame at all and uh, verse vicious people in November. Sounds great. Sorry, I'm like looking at the computer because I'm such a bad memory. Uh, so question three, the original. The modern games are based on the original Greek competition. What is your favourite book based on a classic? Shit, I got this question wrong. So I don't know any books that are really based on classics. Like I probably do, they're all behind me. But you know what, I'm being lazy and I already picked the book that I want because I read the question wrong. So this one is basically a retelling of the Hades and Persephone, which I'm probably saying wrong. Or Persephone, Pers I'm pretty sure it's Persephone. No, it's not. Persephone. Far out, I was wrong. Okay. Persephone. Okay, okay. So basically this is supposed to be a retelling of Hades and Persephone, which is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. And yes, I love this book. And you should all love it too. Question four, the eternal flame. Uh, what is one ship that you won't let die? Even after the books made it clear, it was never going to happen. And I am a diehard shipper of Katniss and Gale. And I know that he is written as a bad character towards the end of the series, but he deserves so much more. And it really hurts me that like, we don't know what happened to him. Like I understand that him and Katniss won't be together. I can get over that even as much as I like it. But can you just let me know that he's okay, Suzanne? Because he's my little child. Question five, gymnastics. What book had so many twists and turns it left your head spinning in a good way? Easy, The Enemy by Charlie Higson. So much stuff happens in this book, you cannot predict what is going to happen. And you just pretty much run alongside these kids as they're taking turns left, right and center, trying to evade these zombies. And I just couldn't keep a hold on. And it was so amazing, I loved it. Question six, The Controversial Judge. What's a book that you have a totally different opinion about than most other people? I made that question sound so awkward. So I love you guys that I know that I haven't read um, this series. I will eventually, but I know it's like blasphemy, people hate me for it, but I just, I just don't like the writing style and it makes me, you know, very different from everybody else. And that one is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Beach volleyball. What is your favorite fictional duo? And this was actually much harder than I thought it would be because a lot of my like books that I like have more than just a duo, so I had to pick my, my babies, my Damon and my Laurent from uh, Captive Prince by C.S. Packett, um, and I just, you know, love them both so much, they're so perfect, and um, yeah, of course they're one of my favourite duos, so they're my volleyball team, and I can just picture it, like, you know how most volleyball parties have like that really tall person and that really short person, and I just picture them now in like beachwear as they beat people up. Question number eight. Weightlifting. What is the most massive book on your bookshelf? Where's Liz? Victor Hugo. I'm gonna put it down now. Question nine. Tell us your favorite Olympic sport. 
Oh my god, wait, that's what I'm supposed to say, this. Okay. Um, my favourite Olympic sport is equestrian because I like to do snow jumping myself. And it's fun and dangerous and those horses are so beautiful. What is a book that you just tore through with world record speed? I was like the Usain Bolt yesterday because I tore through Nerve by Jan Ryan in like three and a half hours. I was, yeah, I really wanted to know what happens because I'm impatient. Question number 10. Uh, synchronized swimming. Um, what is a book series that you kept reading even though you don't have any idea why? This one I like, I, I remember reading it because it's kind of like one of those series that you had to finish. And even though I did enjoy the start of it, the end of the series was just like, what are you doing? It's so bad, so bad, but I kept reading. And that was Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. Number 11 is um, The Tortured Fan. I relate to this one already. What fictional family, group, nation, organization do you irrationally root for no matter how many times they break your heart? The Lightwood family, because my favorite is Isabel and Alec. And I just, I just will always defend them no matter what they do. Like. Isabel and Alec could come in here and burn all my books and I would still be like, it's okay, it's okay. Like, I would still be crying, but it's okay. And question 12. Closing ceremony. What book has an ending that just blew your mind? And I'm sure that there are plenty of books that have absolutely blown my mind, but the first one that came to my blown mind was We Were Lies by E. Lockhart. And I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end, but basically... <laughs> And question 13 is Relay Race, which is who do I tag? I am quite an athlete in this, so let's do this. All right, I tag Mary from Books and Cookies. I tag Liv from Stories for Coffee. I tag Kat from Little Book Owl. I tag Sam from Sam Barnes. I tag Chammy from Read Like Wildfire. I tag you watching this. I tag everybody because I have to win at this. And so that is the Olympic book tag and I plan on doing another Olympic themed video um, in the next few weeks so be sure to keep an eye out for that one because it will be gold. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget all the links are below and I will see you guys again soon. So bye and thank you again to Jen for tagging me. Check her out.